So you might be trying to figure out how you can change your app icons on your iPad. Now luckily for you, it's a pretty basic process, but you'll need to do a few things. One, you want to go ahead and find your Siri shortcuts application. So you should already have it pre-installed on your iPad. It comes already natively with all your iPads. For some reason, you can't really find it. You can always re-download it from your App Store. You'll also need one other thing. You will need a list or some sort of images of the app icon you want to go ahead and change to. So you can do this by literally going inside of your you know, Safari browser and typing in aesthetic app icon and then type in the name of the icon that you want. In this case, we'll be using this one, but you can find any sort of icon pack. It really doesn't matter. This is just the easiest one that I've been using for like all my other videos. So you can choose whatever icon you want and you want to make sure you have the app that you want to basically forward it to on your specific device as well. So I guess I'll have to re-download Snapchat, but you can use any application. We'll just say it's Snapchat in the future. So. What you want to do now is you want to open up your Siri shortcuts application. And what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and create some sort of new, you know, basically a new shortcut. So in the top, we're going to click on the plus button right here. And on the right side of the panel, you're going to see a few things. We want to click on the open app button, which is right here. If you do not see an open app button, you can search for it up here and just type in open app. And that's really all you're going to have to do there. So once you go and have that set up, you want to click open app. And right here, you want to go and choose the app that you want to go and open. So click on that little app icon, and you will see a massive list of all the apps that you have available on your phone right now. Now, we do not have Snapchat, which is still downloading, I guess, which is very annoying. So I guess we're just going to have to use a different app. So let's just say Photos was Snapchat. Let's just go and use that. I know it's not it, but just, that's just for the basis of this video, let's just say it was. Well, once you have that set up, all you're going to want to do is go and click on the Share button that's right there. And then you're going to see this little pop-up and you're going to see that little option that says add to home screen. So all you're going to have to do here is go and click add to home screen. And now what you can do is you can go ahead and tap on that little icon right there, which is right there. And you can click on choose photo. So now we can choose a photo. In this case, we will be going at, we'll be choosing in this specific photo right here, which is that photo we used before. We can go and click use. And what we can do here is we can change this name from shortcut name like this into Snapchat or whatever we wanted to change it to. So now, once you go and type it in just like so, you can go and click add, and you will see that if you go back into your home screen, you will now see that app icon right here. And we basically just did it. So now if we want, we can go and open up that you know app and it should forward us to that application we were just in. In this case, you can see it's supposed to be the Photos app. It's supposed to be Snapchat, but it's still downloading, but you can just do this over and over and over again with all your other app icons. And that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.